Hey guys, so let's go ahead and start talking about continuity. Uh, so the definition pretty much is uh, f of x is continuous at x equals c if the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals f of c. So in other words, if you take the limit as x goes to c of f of x, uh, and if that's the same thing as the actual value of the function at c, then your function is continuous. So let's see a couple examples here. Um, let's first take a look at this one. Uh, y equals f of x, here's our function. So, solid point here at 3 comma 2, uh, what do we know about the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x? What does it equal? Well, this is um, like some of the first kinds of things we looked at uh, several videos ago. Um, so here, as x comes into 3 from the left or from the right, it looks like the y values are going to 2, right? And in fact, they do. Um, but for the limit, it just matters what it looks like is going to happen. So, yeah this limit is 2. Um, but what is the actual value of the function? In other words, what's f of 3? Well, when x equals 3, what's the y value? It's 2. So f of 3 is 2. Okay. So um, because this limit as x goes to 3 of f of x equals 2, and because f of 3 equals 2, uh, we say that this function is continuous at x equals 3. Okay, because the limit and the function value, uh, they have, they're the same when x is 3. Okay, so let's come over here and see uh, another example. Um, now we have this function y equals g of x, and let's take a look at what happens around 5. So what's the limit as x approaches 5 of g of x? Well, what does it look like is going to happen? If x comes into 5 from the left, or if it comes in from the right, uh, what does it look like y is doing? It looks like y is going to go to 3, right? So it looks like y is going to go to this value 3. Uh, as x comes in here, it looks like y is headed towards 3. So this limit is 3. Uh, and the same thing from the right, it looks like y is going to 3. But what is the actual value of the function uh, when x equals 5? In other words, what's g of 5? Well, when x is 5, uh, y is 1. Okay. So we have this uh, hole here. So g of 5 equals 1. Um, so the limit as x approaches 5 of g of x and the actual value of the function at x equals 5, those are different. So that means that the function is not continuous. So that's uh, two fairly straightforward examples of uh, what it means for a function to be continuous. So in the next video, we'll see a slightly different definition um, and some more examples.